Hi YouTube, hi everyone, um, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, today I thought I'd talk to you about charging, um, about what I'm doing for charging, what um, the things that I've learned, the things that um, will hopefully help others, as well as um, what I'm, I suppose, a bit of an update around what I'm doing to charge um, the quantity of batteries that I am. Um, I started off with just the IMAX B6. Um, let me just quickly just check that yeah, I've got sound, good. Uh, I started off with the IMAX B6. Um, that was, it's a great charger, it's a good starting point. Um, you, what you'll find is that it, it's great for doing, um, if you're making a, a small battery pack, then it's going to be fine. The amount of time it takes to charge um, and discharge cells, it's going to be fine. However, if you're making something like the DIY Powerwall or something um, with a, a, you know, a large quantity of cells, um, then what you'll soon realize is that it takes far too long to, to charge just six cells. Um, so it's not really about how long it takes to charge them, it's just a matter of that it takes, um, you can only charge six cells at once. Um, it, it, by doing so it also balances them which also can take longer. Um, so the best thing to do, um, especially when charging um, a large quantity of cells, um, is to buy these circuits. Um, these are, you can get them off AliExpress, which is where I've got these ones from. You can get them off eBay. And what they are is the one amp, the five volt one amp chargers. Um, now I'm not too sure how well they're gonna show up in the camera. In fact, that might be okay. Um, they end up breaking apart. I got them in a, a pack of five, um, but they'll, they'll break apart and I'll show you how I've got mine set up. So these charge the batteries at one amp. So what I would suggest you do is, um, if you're building a power wall, um, buy at least 10 of these. Um, and that way you'll be able to charge 10 batteries all at once. Um, let me just, I'll just cut the video here once what this pump finishes pumping. Oh, there we go, it does. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I would suggest buying at least 10 of these. That way you can charge 10 batteries at once. It's going to be quicker than balanced charging using the, um, the IMAX B6 because these are just charging one cell. Um, so I would at least start with maybe 10 of them. Now these don't have um, any protection around, um, oh I don't, short circuit protection and reverse priority, uh, re reverse priority protection. So that means you stick the battery in the wrong way and you can easily fry one of these. So just be careful. In fact, they're so cheap, you might as well buy 20 of them, um, just in case you end up blowing a couple up. Um, but either way, um, so far I haven't broken any, so, um, so fingers crossed. Um, highly recommend these, um, especially when you've got so many batteries to charge and then discharge and then figure out whether it's a good cell or it's a bad cell. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what uh, my setup is and I'll just take the camera off the stand um, and flick it around. So what I've got over here is, this is just kind of a, I, th I thought I'd make a bit of a video on this as well, is I've got these um, individual charging circuits and as you see they, they end up breaking apart and then don't worry about the wiring so much, obviously it's a bit um, hairy fairy, but it, it gets the job done. So what I've got, just quickly, is I've got the uh, computer power supply, I've got that coming up and I've got it splitting across to a Molex plug up here and then there's another Molex connection. So I end up having one uh, Molex connection here and one up here. What I found is that when you are charging with 10 um, charging um, circuit boards, um, the, the problem is is that that's drawing 10 amps at 5 volts off one Molex and that's um, what happens is that there's too much of a voltage drop and the voltage end up, ends up going down to 4.3, 4.2 when you've got all, all um, 10 all going at the same time. So a recommendation is to obviously have two Molex connections and limit to about five charging circuits per Molex. Um, as you see I've got one up here and I've got that wired down to, to there. Um, these charging circuits are really good. They're really simple but they're really good. So they, they're green if they're charged and then red if they um, are still charging. So um, really simple to use. Um, the other thing I've got is these um, five, or sorry, four um, battery um, holders. What I'd actually recommend is not those. Um, I'd actually recommend kind of what I've got down here is the, is the single um, battery 
um, holders. Um, get those rather than these. Um, the reason is, is that these can be finicky to try and get the batteries out of, where if you have um, individual ones, they're easier to get your fingers around to pull the battery out. Uh, unfortunately, I've got a pump that's sitting right there, so, and my washing machine is turned on, so that's, that's getting a bit frustrating. But, um, so yeah, I recommend not exactly doing this, getting the individual ones and wiring it per um, charging circuit. And that way you can easily get the batteries in and out. Now what I find is that um, charging um, using 10 at the same time on a 5 volt, on a single 5 volt lead coming out of a computer power supply, there's a too much of a voltage drop on the 5 volt rail unless you have something else um, using um, 12 volts. So for a computer power supply to work correctly, you need to have both 12 volt um, draw as well as 5 volt draw. And um, you can't just have one or the other, um, otherwise the voltages, um, they, they drop too much. So the answer is, have these are all 5 volts, so they all need to run off the 5 volt rail. So connect those up, but then you just need have to have a, a couple of things, I think it's about an amp drawing off the 12 volt rail to level the voltages how they need to be. So now the voltages after having some 12 volt equipment plugged in, um, these are just a couple of old IDE hard drives, they're just sitting here, they just get warm, um, but they're using a bit of power on the 12 volt. So that's really helping and that means that the, the voltage across here is about 4.8 to 4.9 which is within um, the specifications of the charging circuits. Um, and then I've just got a fan, just a basic 12 volt fan that's plugged into the, it's just a normal computer fan. Um, stick that up on a board or something that you can easily get in and out of. I stuck it up on a board just to keep it off the, the table here. Um, I've got my IMAX B6. Um, I'm currently using that um, for um, bringing up the cells that are really low in voltage. Um, these cells here um, started off at zero volts. They came out of a pack, they started off at zero, at zero volts. So I thought, well, since I've got some time today, I'll start charging them at really low current and just see how they go and just see what I get out of them. So by having these up here, that means that I can use the IMAX B6 for either discharging. Now I can only really do discharging on one cell at a time. But what you can do is if you need an extra discharger to, um, to speed things up, then this is a, a good way to go. The other thing you can do is obviously um, this is good for bringing up the voltage before putting it into these. So these won't accept um, cells that are less than one volt. So this is a good idea to kind of bring those cells slowly up to about three or four volts get them half charged, the ones that are kind of really low, and then you could put them into, into here for the rest of the charging. Um, and so that's really a bit of an update on um, how I'm doing my charging. Um, I'll just put you back on the, um, the holder here, on the stand. I'll just excuse that for a second. Go, flip me back around again. Cool. Um, so that's a bit of an update of how I do it. When you when you've got I've got uh, I ended up buying um, about 500 laptop batteries. That gives me about 3,000 cells. So you can soon see that it, um, if you want to get into this project and you really want to kind of have a good go at it, and you don't want it to take two years, um, because if you just have an IMAX B6, it's going to take you so long to charge 3,000 cells and test them and then. Um, put them in the, into your piles and, and, and go from there. So I highly recommend you get some of these. That'll get them charging. Um, they work really well um, and I haven't had an issue with them and I haven't blew, uh, blown them up which is which is a good thumbs up. Um, what I'll do is I think my next video will be around um, the discharges and what I'm doing around that but I just thought that um, Look, watching many other YouTube videos uh, and what other people are doing, this is definitely the best way to go. Um, some people have three or four IMAX B6s. Cool, that's another way of doing it, but you'll find that buying four IMAX B6s is far more expensive than spending $5 on 10 um, charging circuits. You might as well just buy the 10 charging circuits and use an IMAX B6 for other bits and pieces. Um, so that's what I've done. Um, so far I've um, I've charged oh, easily over 100 cells, so um, they're going strong, highly recommended, they're cheap and they do a good job. Um, that's what I'm doing and charging about 10 cells at a time um, is, it, that is fast enough for me to keep up with the amount of discharging. 
um, and the reason just quickly on that because I'm going to make another video on discharging but um, what you'll find is that you can charge 10 cells and then you can throw them through the discharger and half of them might only be say one amp hour so they'll finish discharging after an hour so unless you've got um, a good amount of cells that are coming off the charger to put back into the discharger you end up waiting and wasting time so this is a good way to do it um, I'm sure there's many other ways um, I've obviously got 10 here I can add another five which is those other ones but I'm finding that 10 currently is, is about what I need and I've got a pile of ones ready to or charge cells ready to go on my discharges so I know that this part here isn't slowing down my production so um, that's it for this video and um, next video will be on what I'm doing around discharging so thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon